Last year, the Federal Trade Commission charged top corporate executives at pomegranate juice maker Palm Wonderful for making false and unsubstantiated health claims. For example, Palm ads say that their juice can result in a significant reduction of IMT, intima media thickness, the thickness of arterial plaque. They even cite research. Let's check it out. Effects of consumption of pomegranate juice on carotid intima media thickness in men and women at moderate risk for coronary heart disease. What did they find? No significant difference was in overall plaque progression rate was observed between pomegranate juice and control treatments. Not only that, I mean, it was their own study. They funded it. I mean, if you kind of pay for a study, at least have the decency to falsify the data instead of just lying about the results. Palm responded to the complaint, claiming that the Federal Trade Commission lacks the authority to tell them what they can and or cannot lie about under the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. When this defense was raised earlier this year in the journal Public Health Nutrition, Marion Nessel and a colleague responded, it seems obvious to us that this interpretation of the First Amendment neither follows its original intent nor promotes the public interest. The Founding Fathers clearly intended the First Amendment to guarantee the right of individuals to speak freely about religious and political matters, not the right of food companies to market junk foods to children and adults. I wouldn't consider pomegranate juice junk, but I do consider lying about their own research junk science.